Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Kiriko-san! Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... Professor Doji led the Sentinel project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? What are you talking about? What happened to you? That's about what I figured you'd say. If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... Uh, <sighs> I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. This is goodbye. <clears throat> Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, he's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But... If he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me. Or I'll do more than laugh at you. 
I'm going to time travel to another era. Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some petty dreadful. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. Kiriko Doji. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. What? Don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back, I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right, your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching my son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? I said hold it. Noodles stir-fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pan. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So? I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People have been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait, yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Hey! Don't you walk away! Come on! <sighs> My yakisoba pan. I didn't even get a single bite. You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. <laughs> Stop! We're sorry! Look, we'll get you another snack, man! I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yakisoba Pan. 
hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> Come at me. Bring it! What the... Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Looks like it's locked. Guess you found me. Kiriko-san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year, thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pon. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yakisoba pon for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point! Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never! Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh... This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Uh, oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. Go ahead. I'll hear you out. Well? Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. 
His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl? Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids. And Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof, you're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over. Then... You can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. You can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. just manipulating me. Well, it is Yakisoba Pan. Not much I could do. Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. The sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. I'd hit the spot. If he's in that uniform, he's 
probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. So he was just playing the part of Kiriko Doji. I don't know what he's up to, but if I help him, I can save our homeland from this war. This is it, all right. Though, it's a far cry from the school I remember. Now, I don't know if he's here or not. Still, I should go around the back. Keep a low profile. This building had just been finished when I knew it. Now, well, it's certainly seen better days. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we know. It feels like just yesterday. I walked these very halls to pick up Keitaro. And now, four decades have passed in a blink of an eye, like a fairy tale. And this young lady would be? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. I'm Kiriko Doji. Why, well, miss, you're... You're stunning. M my name is Takatoshi Hijiyama. I'm going to remember this day forever. Because... It was the day you came into my life. You're a funny guy. But you seem pretty incredible yourself, Takatoshi-san. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know about that. So what's got you all bashful and smiley in here? Kiriko-san. I mean, Okino. You really are a funny guy. Um... You could have just taken a nap at my place. I didn't think you'd come running after me. I'm not about to let you get away from me. I showed you my hideout. Why bother trying to run now? Still don't trust me, huh? I want to know everything about what you're trying to accomplish. I see. Well, fair enough. The question is, are you even going to believe me? I have already learned for myself that time travel is real. At this point, nothing surprises me anymore. No more secrets. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to stop the apocalypse. A force is already on its way here to destroy the world. And they've got more numbers on their side than we'll ever have. What are they? I'm not really concerned with what they are. What I want to know is, why are they coming? The answer is in something called the Decode. Let me try and break this down for you. There are other humans with modifications, like you and Murakun. And they're beaming out these signals, calling the destroyers here. Even though they have no idea. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the... The Souther threat you said the Sentinels were meant to fight. Are you saying it's them? These destroyers? They're a huge threat, all right. And these people with modifications, like me, they're calling them here? But weren't those implants only added so we could pilot the Sentinels in the first place? Well, I made the Sentinels, sure. But I'm not the one who modified all of you. 
there's too many unknowns with the inner Lossiter. That's what I'm looking into. So this inner Lossiter? It's like a little network of tiny machines. It has to be implanted into your body. So what do you want me to do now? Everybody's supposed to be in class right now. You'll stick out if you're on school grounds. We can't have you wandering around where staff can see you. It'd definitely be a liability for me, at least. There'll be more of a crowd when lunch period rolls around. Until then, you should hang out here. Sleeping face down on a school desk can't be good for my neck. Mm, Loki now. Still no sign of him. Noodle stir. He told me to wait until noon. But I can only waste time napping for so long. It's quiet outside. Maybe everyone's still in their classes. I'm trying to avoid being seen here. So I'm not supposed to go outside, but... Huh. Come on, Takatoshi! You can't just let Okino tell you what to do. I can't wait any longer. So basically... You mean? But then that means the dream is... Real? Uh... Huh? A student's duty should be to focus so on their studies. You mean... This kind of hanky-panky has no place here. Is... Really? <sighs> Not that that girl wasn't cute, I suppose, so basically... but... Clearly, she has no eye for men. But then that means the dream is... Really? It's not like that. It super is, though. You think so? Was he? Does he even go to our school, though? Oh, please. There. That has to be... I can't let myself get spotted now. Okina would probably never let me hear the end of it. You the one? Said you'd be waiting here around now. Even stuffed a letter in my shoe locker, right? Yes. Shit, she's cute. Okay, so, uh, what's this about? Um, I like you. Uh, seriously? You? Me? Yes. Kisaragi's bullshit was starting to get to me. Maybe I'm kind of a stud after all. What? No! Kiriko-san! That rat bastard! You don't go for another fella's girl! Huh? What's your problem? Hey! Put him up! Uh, hold on! <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, did I just... I can't believe you, Hijiyama-kun. This is... I mean... Don't tell me. You were jealous. 
I... of course not. I'm sorry for hitting him. You can like whoever you like. It's none of my business. Where's this coming from? You think I like him just because he's a guy? Uh -huh. Actually, you couldn't have picked a better time. This works. Nenji Ogata secured, despite complications. Now, help me get him into the old school building. <sighs> False pretenses or not, that confession really got to him. Even knocked out, he's still blushing. I almost feel bad for him. So, that confession was just so you could analyze him, then? Why else would I do it? Destroyers. So he's implanted with the same technology as me? He's going to destroy the world? He's sending signals to the things that will. At least I thought he was. Something's off. Nenji Ogata here is not transmitting any kind of command signal. Looks like the decode signature has been changed. That's bad. Now I'm gonna have to check everyone's individual codes. More work I don't need. What changes if you can figure that out? We saved the world. Or find a way to do that, at least. Don't we have the Sentinels? You said you created them to save us all. That's right. But we've already thrown 19 Sentinels at them and lost. Ugh. We need a bigger game changer than one or two Sentinels. That alone's not gonna make a difference. You did your homework on the Pacific War. You get it, right? When you're up against numbers like these, what can you do? <sighs> the Sentinels are meant to be a last line of defense. There, we've got a clue. But I can't access it from this side. He might be the only one who can. So, where does that leave us? <sighs> Morning, Hijiyama-kun. Okino, what's going on? I looked at Nenji Ogata. He didn't have anything for me. But I took a look at your code. And I have to say, it's been very thought-provoking. Untie me this instant, or I swear, I'll... Why are you getting so worked up now? This isn't all that different from the old days in the factory lab. Just the two of us, enjoying some quality time, right? What? Even if that's partially true, Things are different now. Untie me, before I really get angry. Well, that's weird. You sound like you're mad, but these numbers don't lie. You're actually kind of enjoying this, aren't you? Being all tied up at the mercy of your crush? You're such a perv, Hijiyama-kun. Stop toying with me! Well... Why don't we see what's really in your heart? What the...? Whoa, you really can't stop thinking about me, huh? Don't be ridiculous! I get it. You're lying to yourself. All to protect your self-image, right? But you can hide all you want. Your physical data gives it away. Don't lie to me! Fine. Why don't we take a deeper look? Stop! Wow, this really says Stop it all. Stop it! 
stop, please! <sighs> Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? Noodles. The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged! So if I've judged the walking distance right, I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. I see. Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino? go what's going on why do I feel like this I see you made a friend eh, just a stray cat that's all I just gave it a little food now it shows up here all the time so I ended up bringing food for it every day I suppose I can relate you used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Hmm. Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. Oh. There's something under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Okino, are you still trying to look after me? Whoa, well, she's one of the teachers at the school. I should go somewhere else. Isn't she... My Yakisoba upon Angel? Uh. She doesn't recognize me. Then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Wait. If she's a student here, then... That means it must be sold here at the school. This is where I can find that Yakisoba Pan! There it is. She's almost missed out. We only had two left. Just one left. Your finest Yakisoba Pan, please! No doubt about it. This is the same Yakisoba Pond from back then. It's 
too much. So hungry. I've got no strength left. I can't go on like this. I'll starve to death. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. <sighs> what am I thinking? I am an Imperial soldier. The pride of the Empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Oh. Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? Uh, oh. Uh, never better. Was that your stomach? Uh... <laughs> I know. Hmm. What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yakisoba pan? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki soba pan. <laughs> it's so good. Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious exist in this world? <laughs> I wanted to savor the taste, but I practically inhaled that whole piece. Now that I think about it, I never even got to thank her. My yakisoba pun angel. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still, I can't believe I got the last one. I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. Now, time to finally enjoy my... Uh... Uh... You change clothes? Wow, I can feel the disappointment from here. Want me to get back into the skirt? I don't care. It's just that the skirt's kind of breezy. I don't have much on underneath it. Makes me feel pretty exposed, you know? I can't just walk around in the wind and traffic like that. Just think of what could happen. Stop that. You're clearly enjoying this, no matter what you say. And you don't have to be so... lewd about it. If we're seen outside, the staff might chase us off the property. Once the afternoon classes are over, we'll head back. You stick around here until then. Do you... want half of this yakisoba pan? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food, anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. 
fantastic. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Good grief. You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pun. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet. That's all. Wow. Can't argue with that logic. Huh? Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Wait, have we met somewhere? She's the girl who saved me. She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel. Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait. I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite, uh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Yakisoba Pond Angel. Why? I should head to school. My Yaki Silva Pond's waiting for me. No, wait. That's not the point. Can't lose focus. I need to find Okino. If I had to guess, Okino must be a cat person. Well, not that that's particularly important to know. Now, where is Okino? She looked more ghost than girl. She's no ghost, but she is hauntingly beautiful. As long as I've gotten this close already, maybe... No, 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 no. This is not the time. Um... <sighs> is this cheating? No, of course not. Why would it be? Okino's a man anyway. If, hypothetically, I had fallen for him, it was when I believed him to be a girl. Oh, now I remember. He cozied up to that rascal Ogata too. He even confessed his love. 
Sorry, Okino. But you strayed first. It's only fair. Excuse me, miss? Uh, oh. Okino's little friend again. That kitty is so cute. Does it live at the school? Oh, you mean Lucky? Lucky? Oh, you know, because he's a lucky cat. Lucky, is it? A cat of many names, it sounds like. What's so lucky about him? You just hang around this cat. And you start finding money everywhere. <gasps> what? Seriously? I mean, it's... It's usually like a couple coins. Oh, so just lose change. Hmm. Well, worth a try. Let's see what's under the box, shall we? Oh, that's... A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. No, there wouldn't be any around here. coin. That's a lucky find. Hey, did you see that guy? He was looking under the vending machines. What do you think he was doing? Maybe he dropped his change? Oh, what? I wouldn't go digging around for it. That looks so sketchy. Hey, karabe -kun. Are we on for today? Uh... I've got somewhere to be. Well, all right. No, there wouldn't be any around here. I have 200 yen on me. Apple juice. <sighs> That's powerfully sweet. I have 250 yen on me. Your finest yakisoba pond, please! Sorry for making you wait, yakisoba pond. But it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. Mm. <laughs> delicious. Impossibly delicious. Of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pond. I don't see Okino anywhere. 
Is he not at school? Oh. Isn't that... one of the Sentinel scout units? Why is this here? This is not good. And he's... You. You're the one from the shrine, where we cross time. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't move? Something's happened. Did Okino get him too? I should get him back to the hideout. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to carry him. What a hassle. <sighs> what am I, just another one of Okino's cronies? I don't have to run around cleaning up his messes. Stop! Plastic gizmo! What's Sentinel technology doing here? How did you get here? I'll take a look. What is this? What were you thinking, Okino? What's wrong, Takatoshi? What's wrong is this core system. Oh, figured it out, huh? Okino? Professor Shinonomi found it. Daimos? Really? Everyone knows that's one of the old kaiju survival sims. Even I played that thing all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? I'm just reusing the infrastructure, environment management code. Relax, we're not gonna get kaiju popping up. Still... And hey, faster than building the code base from scratch, right? Come on, you love me, so you can trust me, right? The work's done. We've done all we can for the human race's future. As long as this colony's life support holds out. As long as I've got even a second more, I'd rather spend it with you. Tsukasa. You're right. I'd rather be holding you right now myself. I'll see if I can explain it to Professor Shinonome. Thanks. I love you, Takatoshi. What is this? That wasn't me, was it? But Okino and I were together. In love. It's impossible. Hey, what did you just show me? Put it up again. Here begins my final log. This isn't the same recording. Tsukasa's dead. <sighs> the medical bio kits are no good to me now, so I only got an hour or two left. <sighs> Why did it come to this? It was all logistical debate over Project Ark. An energy dispute. And Tsukasa. He argued to cancel the plan. To divert the energy to life support. If that damn Ogata and his cronies hadn't come armed... No. Too late to point fingers now. Izumi-san shot Tsukasa. So I made him pay. Him and his allies. As for the survivors, there's Professor Shinonome and Ida. They made it out safe. And me. Though, I figure I don't have long left. The hangar's blown out. And the colony's in ruins. It won't even take 20 hours. All we've worked for will be gone. I came here so I could protect people. And now I'll die here. With my friend's blood on my hands. If... Project Ark actually goes through. If... I actually get to be reborn somehow. I hope I live to protect them. Protect all my friends. My friends. My Tsukasa. Reborn.
You know, was killed? What did I just see? Why do I have this pit in my stomach? Okino, where are you? His biometrics unlocked those personal logs. That was this world's Takatuki san. Yeah. I brought him here. Looks like Okino's with him, too. Okino! Oh, good. You're safe. Hijiyama-kun? What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Uh, what? That image. It was definitely Okino. But what even was that? Uh, Something on my face, or...? You didn't go to school today? Oh, yeah. I skipped to do a little time travel. Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Were you out looking for me at school? No, uh... No, really? Well, I'm glad he's safe. Why is that a good thing? Why does seeing Okino make me feel better? So you're still dressing like that. You! Whoa there. You move, I shoot. Bastard must have followed me. You led me right to Okino's doorstep. No. You're here to kill him? Hijiyama-kun, calm down. He's A. Sekigahara. He and I play for the same team. <sighs> Isn't that right? You've done really well holding on like that. I think I know why you're here. You want what only I can give you. You can drop the gun. I won't run anymore. Okino. I need it. Please, help me. Sure. Since you finally asked nicely, you two... Don't tell me. Y you two are... Steady? <laughs> what if we are? What does that matter to you? <clears throat> Damn that, Okino. How long is he going to toy with me? Then... I'm not thinking straight myself. Okino's a man. Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would... steal him? Hmm? That damn Okino. That was too far for a joke. <sighs> anyway... What was going on with those talking images? If I recall... They said something about being reborn? Now, where is Okino? Right on time. Okino. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura's wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. Okino's trying to sneak into the nurse's office. 
So I have to keep Morimura occupied in the schoolyard. She should be wearing a white coat. Oh, that must be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh... She seems like quite a teacher. I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Now that's done. Wait. Yes? Uh, well, uh... There was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh, no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually... They can't move, because they broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance, quick. Wait, I mean, th th their leg's mostly fine, actually. They scrit their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very... scraped. Hmm. Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The jig is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? About time for a retreat. Oh, that's a hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. I have 100 yen on me. Uh, uh. Sparkling soda, sugary and refreshing. coin. That's a lucky find. Yen coin. That's a lucky find. I have 200 yen on me. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. Sorry for making you wait, yakisoba pond. But it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mmm, mm. delicious. Impossibly delicious. But... This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this.
What's wrong? You can take a closer look. <sighs> what do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms. Those legs. It's like an Iron Giant. A 2,000 ton invincible Iron Giant at that. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleship's? I don't know much about the technical side, but it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then... It sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. But I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh? Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know... I'm just delivering documents on the Professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the Professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well, the Professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, Keitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. <sighs> it can't be. It is! If it isn't Keitaro, in the flesh! Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama! I never imagined you'd wind up here too! Takatoshi-san? <sighs> it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's yeah, time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. <sighs> it really is you, Takatoshi-san. So, when did you get here? Uh, scratch that. How did you get here? What's happened at home since I've been gone? Slow down. I can only answer one at a time. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, that's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. <clears throat> what? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. 
Shikishima and Nasera's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yaki soba pond. Oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yakisoba pan. It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any hamburger? What is this hamburger? I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. You overestimate your burger, my friend. Okino said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So, we lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. What, what do you mean? Explain yourself. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place... I think it'd be better to show you, instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s... So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Same thing. Tamao-san's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here, either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids. But there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. What? What are those? They... are the ones who destroyed the world. That's them, then? The ones you've been talking about? Yeah, they're all Daimos. Destroyers of worlds. Some of them are the size of the Sentinels. And those aren't even the biggest. What you're seeing is just a fraction of their forces. A unit of hundreds has already passed through here. And now their mission's complete. So here they stand. Did these monsters... 
eat everyone? They don't eat. The people have all been captured. Thanks to a buried UFO. Well, a saucer. A saucer? That's what the Daimos are after. Their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer. Specifically, to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother... and Tamao-san... These things took them away? Wait... If the world was destroyed in the 1940s... Then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean... These are... Parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. You used to borrow Keitaro science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there before my homeland lost everything, if I'd fought in the Sentinel, maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless. In the end, all I can do is rely on him. I... Uh, he's telling me about all these things. But even I know this is all over my head. How do I make a difference? Is it even possible? right there. <laughs> you certainly don't take pride in your appearance. That's all I have to wear. Do we really have students like you at our school? I've <sighs> never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind it. Oh. A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Oh! Wait, uh, this isn't what it looks like. Please wait. Uh, really, it's all a misunderstanding. No, I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. I have 100 yen on me. Soda, sugary and refreshing. Oh, 
That's... Really? What exactly are you doing? just don't want to miss the show tonight. Hold it right oh, there. Oh, so that's it. That I was wondering why you've been missing practice. Oh. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. I'm sorry. Uh, I remembered something I'm I have to do. I'm just a big fan, you know? Back to front? Oh, right. Oh. That show with the pop stars. He's gone. What? Something wrong with that? A hundred yen I mean, coin. Fine, but... That's a lucky find. Finest yuck. So I'll see you at the usual place later. Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? I shouldn't right now. After sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. No point just sitting around waiting for him. We'll have to kill time for a while. That damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? No, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. Sokino planning with that girl. <sighs> Something's going on with him. I can tell. It feels like he's hiding something. Time is it? I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. I'll wait here and confront them when they return. Ogata. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you've put me through? Cause I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, 
I don't know how you escaped, but I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. What the hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh... Oh. You don't know either? <clears throat> Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. Damn it! Sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. But I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh... She's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little... Jealous? That's totally it, right? Please. Who'd get jealous over you? Is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous! I was just... I was just... Worried about you, that's all. <sighs> I you want to know how to place, save everyone, right? Well, if there's well, the a way, then tell anyway. me. Please. I mean, heck, if... I understand. Something happened to you. I'm doing my Moron. best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but... It could make a difference, at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Okino, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home? Please? Damn it. You got off easy this time, Okino. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. That's where it all starts. this 
I told you about this before. We're inside the buried UFO. So this was built by humans from the future? Or extraterrestrials, potentially. So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have... this. The saucer? Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. What is this? Androids. They were protecting this place. Androids? Mechanized dolls, I guess. They're all broken anyway. <sighs> so this is what the Daimos have been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5, which means... It's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional. And that's the one in 1985. What's wrong? 1985? Even assuming it's a parallel world, something isn't right. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. Forty-year gaps, going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp. Especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, That'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. People from the future were preparing for the final battle. Those compatible with the Inner Lossiter were being gathered in Sector 4. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos's Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. One guy had his own plan. Murder everyone who had an inner Lossiter. No more signal. He thought that might save the world. If it meant I could save my homeland, I would gladly give my life. <sighs> so why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the inner Lossiter, but... It's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but... That's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but... I just... 
I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Daimos, and access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO. Universal control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1. The automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Daimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that, though, are we any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but if I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. <sighs> But, yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. Where do I begin? Well, I think I finally found what we needed. The answer to our problem. What is it? I'd prefer to handle the introductions first, but... So, what can I do right now? I have to save everyone. That means I need to stay at Okino's side. Well, I guess we're a bit early. The command ship still behind the horizon. That means still about half an hour until they're in comms range. Now it's a waiting game. Go ahead and explain. Guess I owe you that much. You remember our talk about the decode? Something inside that inner Lossiter? It's the thing calling the Dimos, right? You got it. More specifically, the important part is its connections to three discrete points. One of those points is the command ship in orbit, which I'll show you here. From that ship, it extracts the data of the Daimos themselves. That data is used to manufacture them in the automated factories in Sector 1. Then the factory fresh Daimos are deployed to attack Universal Control. And that's how the decode works. So why do the attacks make people disappear? I might actually have the answer to that one. But, well, it'd be better if you heard it from her, the command ship. Huh? Hey, this doll is moving! Stop! It stopped. Is this doll some kind of enemy? Must have come from above ground. I'm definitely triggering the voice recognition, but... Looks like my operation authority has been revoked. My commands aren't enough to shut them down. They'll be back in action soon. Hey! Over here, too! Stop! This doesn't look good. You're telling me. We need to go. Something's off. What's wrong? That console...
Looks like I can only use the controls from there. You stay here. I'll go set the timer. Hey! Stop! Okido! Damn it! Why me? Why only me? I have to get back now, or Okino might not. Someone, anyone. I need to find someone who knows how to time travel. I know what I saw. Just as I was shifting, I saw Okino. And the androids were after him. I need to get back and rescue him. Sekigahara would know. Keitaro's Sentinel could also travel in time. Wait, that nurse would know as well. Okino was looking into that teacher. Maybe she knows something about time travel. If what Keitaro said is true, the Sentinel's capable of time travel. So if I can take it back from the government and Shikishima, maybe I can use it to save Okino. Crawling to him for help leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but... Desperate times call for desperate measures. I can't seem to find that teacher. Excuse me, miss. There's something I need to ask you. Uh... Sure. What's up? Um... You've been in the area for a while, right? Seen any suspicious characters? Sharp eyes, acting fishy? Yeah, right in front of... Uh... Uh... Never mind. Huh? I'm looking for a boy named Miura. He'd be wearing a school hat. Has he been around here? A school hat? Oh, you mean that middle schooler kid? You've seen him? Uh, sorry. I don't really know anything. But you might want to talk to one of our track members. Where would I find them? Around now, she'd probably be at the rest area. Understood. Thank you. I'm looking for a teacher named Morimura. Do you have any idea where she might be? Uh, you need to find Miss Morimura? I think she already went home for the day. Really? Of all time, she had to be gone during an emergency. I'll have to look somewhere else. I've actually got some stuff to do, so... My apologies. I appreciate the help. Do you have a moment? Uh, for what? I'm looking for a shady guy who looks like he might start a fight. Have you seen anyone like that around school? Uh, yeah. Really? I'm talking to him. Anyone else? Well, there's also Ogata-kun. <sighs> I'm looking for Miura. A boy with an old school hat. Any idea where I might find him? A school hat? You mean Natsuno's boyfriend? Natsuno? One of my friends in track has a boyfriend. And he always wears this super vintage-looking school hat. That's him. Do you know where he is? Hmm... He wasn't near the athletics building. I do remember something. Oh, I've seen him around the old school building. The old school building? So, the wooden schoolhouse? Thank you. Much appreciated. 
Is that all you need? Yes. Thank you. Okay now. What's wrong? Uh, um, this is for you. What's this? I really like you. What are you doing? Don't be crazy. I, I... Gotcha. Deja vu, huh? Isn't this where I confessed to Nenji Ogata, too? That seemed like it really got to you. I thought you might be feeling left out, so... You idiot! You thought it'd make me happy for a man to confess to me? Guess not, huh? here. Huh? Huh? You? Wait, maybe... This was the correct area to search. It is him. Wait, that's... You're the scout unit that was with Sekigahara. Why do you have this? Who are you? Takatoshi-san. Let me... take you. Let me take you to Okino's location. <sighs> he has been wounded by androids. His condition is critical. What? Who exactly are you? How do you know about Okino? Television broadcasts and command ship transmissions. The Yuki Inaba used them to inform me. Meltsuno, he will need it. Oh, sure. Here. What is this? The phaser. You will need a weapon to neutralize the androids. Some kind of future gun? I extracted it from the Shikishima laboratory. It was designed based on data from the mainframe. Natsuno, please stay here. What? That man will be dangerous. Okay, now they have had much time. <sighs> then let's move. Okay, now. 
You don't have much of a knack for love letters. The invasion force is approaching Sector 4. So I'd like to share the Sentinel with you. I hid it in the ocean in Sector 5. It's the one I piloted. Sentinel number 12. If anything happens to me, you'll need access to it. So I made one last adjustment to your body on my own. The Sentinel activation switch is on your left forearm. That scout unit said you were isolated. If you really are alive, if you're out there somewhere, then you're going to need a home to return to. It'd be a shame if it was gone. So, I'll fight to my last breath to save it. That's all the reason I need. Now, let's go! Sentinel number 12! Finally. I was wondering when you'd show up. What was that? I thought I heard Okino's voice. You did. It's me. Oh, you know. You can't see them, but I do still have legs. No ghosts here. So the scout was right. I'm still alive. Because we shared the Sentinel, you're the only one who I can communicate with. What can I do? How do I save you? I can't go back to that world anymore. I was cut off from it to keep me alive. This was the answer, Hijiyama-kun. Remember what we talked about? The mystery process eating up 80% of the inner Lossiter's memory? Our hearing, vision, scent, touch, and taste. It was supplying sensory data, everything we ever perceived. It made everything in that world seem real. That was practically its highest priority function. Seem real? You don't mean it was all fake? My home? The factory? The five sectors are not reality. Besides the 15 of us, every human we've ever known, they were created by universal control. That world is a simulated space, a massive, perfect illusion for us. None of it was real. These cockpits we're in right now, that is reality. My designs for the Sentinels never had cockpits at all. What kind of suicidal moron would get in a 35-meter weaponized metal suit? A single punch's recoil impact would hit the pilot like a train crash. But then the finished Sentinels had ways to get inside. I wasn't too familiar with the systems we'd pulled from the mainframe data. I figured it was just a spec I hadn't noticed at the time. But it wasn't even a cockpit at all. They're growth pods, meant to keep our bodies healthy. We were born inside these pods. We have never known life outside of them. Uh, if all that's true, how do we get out? I don't know if we can get out. But at least one thing's clear. If the Deimos invasion destroys the world we knew, then we will all die inside these pods. <laughs> Fat chance of that. You're shameless, shrewd, and infuriating. People like you don't die so easily. No matter what else may change, my duty is the same. I live in service of my country. And the people I love. Hijiyama-kun. I will not let you die. Hijiyama-kun. No matter how this ends, I will always be with you. Let's go.